The Australia Council for the Arts acknowledges the traditional owners of country throughout Australia and pays our respect to the elders, both past and present. It's amazing. It's probably the biggest thing that's happened to me in my life. But first of all, I would like to recognise and pay my respects to the traditional owners, the Gadigal people of the Aurora Nation, in which we celebrate today. I would like to thank the Australia Council for the Arts for the special award that has recognised the talents of many Indigenous people for their lifetime achievements. I know there's a great deal of work that is required to encourage and promote, to teach, oh sorry, to reach out to artists and arts workers far and wide, not only for this award, but to all areas of the Australian arts industry. I would like to thank all of you, especially the people who supported my nomination, written by Tina Bowne, Lisa Cahill, the CEO of the Australian Design Centre, a group of women, a professional in their field, who supported, um, wrote support, it was Professor Maggie Walters, Dr Julie Goff, my friend Sue Hodge, Glenda King, who generously wrote support letters for my application. I very much appreciate the time and the effort that you found out of your very busy careers. I am delighted to accept this award. I feel very proud, honoured, humble to receive such a National Indigenous Red Ochre Award as an Aboriginal woman coming from a very isolated group of islands. I am extremely proud. It makes me think of the words to the song, From Little Things, Big Things Grow, by Paul Kelly. It's always been my ambition to strive to carry on the legacy of my mother, my grandmother's knowledge and skills. Our families continue to work hard to maintain has significant cultural women's practice. I am dedicated to be passing on our heritage to my daughter Vanessa, my granddaughters Charlize and Sheridan. Without my family's support, and especially my husband Rex, I doubt I would be standing here today. For Tasmanian Aboriginal women shell necklace makers to succeed today in developing quality necklaces it is, requires the support of their families to, to maintain and produce quality products for major exhibitions. Each year, our family studies the calendar for the tides, the check the sea level, the low tides, the date, the time, whether those tides are during the day, how low the tides are for us to collect. We travel together, we collect together as a group. My cultural practice is my life. My life is my family. We aim to maintain our cultural practice to country by travelling to beaches at times we stay away overnight as part of our story of working together. In recent years, my husband Rex, my son Dean and grandson Harrison have focused on building their bark canoes. Finally, I wish to thank all of the Australia Council, the Indigenous Strategic Development Unit, the leadership team. I am overwhelmed to receive such a huge National Indigenous Art Award. I now feel like I'm a big star. <laughs> I know this will make my heart sing. Thank you.